Hey everyone, Steven here for Prismatic Powders. Today we're going to discuss the mill thickness gauge and why you, yes you, should be using one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and let's get into it. The importance of using one of these gauges is an often overlooked element, so we thought we should address it. A mill thickness gauge is useful because most powders should be sprayed around the two to three mil mark, and this gauge will help ensure your finished work is on target for accurate thickness. What is a mill, you may ask? A mill is a common unit of measurement for measuring the thickness of coatings. One mill is equal to one thousandths of an inch. So let's talk about your PhD. There are several variables that contribute to your actual mill thickness. Powder settings, hand speed, distance from the part, etc. So if you don't know what your mill thickness is, then you really are shooting in the dark as far as understanding how your techniques and settings are affecting the thickness of your powder. Since a mill thickness gauge can be helpful in understanding why there are variations or problems in your work, it is very useful in troubleshooting issues with your finished product. For example, if you are getting an orange peel look in your finished work, you have a visual reference indicating that you might be spraying too heavy. However, this really depends on the powder. Some powders have a tendency to look that way regardless of thickness, while others can resist orange peel altogether. Either way, a mill thickness gauge can help you dial in your settings and techniques to ensure you're spraying at the optimal thickness. So let's take a look at another scenario. Here we have three panels sprayed with transparent copper. We want to demonstrate how even a small variation in mill thickness can affect the appearance of your transparent top coat. So I'm going to start with our darkest panel over here of transparent copper and measure the mills with our mill thickness gauge. And as you can see, we get about a two and a half mils rating for it. And I'm going to move to our second middle panel here. We get about a 1.7 mil rating. And then I'm going to go to our lightest panel right over here. And we get about just about one mil. So as you can see, with uh, a thickness of roughly a little over half a mil, you get such a large tunnel difference with these transparent top coats. So other than appearances, what are the drawbacks to being light or heavy? If you're spraying under two mils, you may start to lose durability and protection. If you're spraying heavy at over, let's say, four mils, you may have good protection and durability, but it can visually affect the finish. You may see that it begins to orange peel or affect the color altogether. Not to mention, if you're consistently too heavy, that extra powder can amount to a lot of wasted money both in terms of overspray, but also the unnecessary powder on your finished product. So despite the very forgiving nature of powder coating, there's a case to be made for spraying just the right amount that fits in that range of two to three mils. I hope this was helpful and highlights the usefulness of these gauges. Please let us know below if you have any questions or comments. We'll see you next time.